Hello? Then it's Steven. Hey, hey, what's going on? What's up? Then it's Steven. <laughs> yes. Oh, there they go. <laughs> hey, 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 what's up, everybody? How we doing, fellas? Good. Hey, uh, everybody, just want to let you know uh, we live. This is Coach Strokes from the Ring to the Concrete. Uh, this is the third interview of this week of Dynamic Duos. But, you know, I got something special. It's not going to be Dynamic Duos this week. Today, it's going to be actually Dynamic Trios. I have uh, two of the hottest young men across the nation, man, that's blown up uh, social media-wise and virally, virally when it comes to their videos, when it comes to uh, their passion, um, how they're working out, how they train, and then definitely, you know, when it comes to them boxing. They just had their first boxing match about a week ago, and both of them won. I have uh, at, at Stokes House Boxing Academy uh, very own um, Daniel and Steve Daniel and Steve Brandy uh, from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. How are we doing it, uh, today, fellas? Good. You both, you guys, both there? Yeah. Okay, okay. And uh, they, they, you know, they would not be here if it wasn't for their father, man, Danny Green. Senior, how you doing, Danny? I'm good. Yourself, Jack? Man, I can't call it, man. I'm glad to be alive, brother. I'm, I'm glad to be here. Um, you know, this is history because uh, these young men are young right now. But I know when they're gonna be champions one day, everybody is gonna be beating on the door to speak to them. So I'm just happy to have uh, be a part of this because you know um, I'm talking to them when they when they first starting out. So uh, let me ask you a, f a few questions. You ready? To get, you ready to get rock and rolling, brother? Absolutely. Hey, um, so uh, Danny, Danny Senior, just briefly tell us where it all began when it came to the kids, man, when it came to Danny and, and uh, Steve. I mean, it was pretty much an easy choice, Coach. Just, you know, something productive and positive for my children away from the streets of Philadelphia. So we started early, like, early, early. I would take them around the gym at, like, probably, like, one. Like, I'm talking in car seat days. I would just sit them in front of the ring or whatever and just – Show them everything going on in the gym, and then, you know, they started liking it. I remember the first day they jumped in the ring. Like I said, it was all their own, like nothing for us. They've been around the environment, and they chose to jump in. They put on gloves, and we've been training ever since. Wow. So, so if I understand you correctly, you uh, you was just taking around the gyms, and and and, and uh, they was around the environment, man. So, pretty much, it, they were honed into it. So, and they just picked it up. If that is that right? Yeah, pretty much second nature, man. You know, they say what you're around, you become. So, like, one of those things. <laughs> I, grew up, that, I grew up in the gym, so. Yeah. Gave them that same, you know, that same outlook and let them make the choice. Like I said, they put the gloves on. And we've just been training ever since. So you so you box yourself then? Yeah, I fought out of Philly. A little amateur, nothing major. Okay, okay, okay. Um, You know, because cause, cause I, I know. I see it a lot, especially on Instagram. I see there are a lot more parents getting more involved in their son's lives, man, uh, when it comes to, to the game. And that's what I wanted to ask you was, you know, um, you know, how did you get uh, uh, started with Coach Dem in specific? You know, uh, why didn't you let anybody else uh, uh, coach them? I mean, me, personally, I feel like I had the, the, the proper upbringing to put this in my son. And I know kids work harder for their parents than they would oppose to a stranger. And then a lot of coaches, not to take none away from them, it's just more so it's coaching. It's not their child. So some of the passion is missing. No doubt. You understand what I'm saying? So no. with, with the father, it's, it's, it's a different passion. And like I said, I came up through Joe Frazier's gym back in the day where you had to fight. You had to know how to fight. So, mm -hmm. But the teachings I had, I feel like they come from an older generation that, you know, it, it don't exist a lot today, but it's still around. I mean, in particular, certain people. So I, I wanted to install that in them, not just teach them to hit pads and say, you know, you look cute. And that, for, for me, that's ruining a lot of fighters. So you, you got to teach them more science than just punching pads. So I felt like, you know, me personally doing it would be much better than, you know, pushing it off on somebody else. Because my kid's passion comes from me. I mean, from the self, too. But I give them the push, you know, that fatherly push. I, 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 uh, I understand what you're saying. I, you know, my son is five, man, and and I go through, you know, the the things he need to be doing now. You know, correcting things because there's a lot of there's a lot of there's a lot of pro fighters that I've seen, and I'm pretty sure you've seen it yourself, Danny. Is where it's like, how in the heck did he even become a professional fighter? 
And it's yeah. like, man, you know, he he's slapping with his punches. He's not stepping right, you know. Uh, he's not turning his punches over. So, I mean, with that being said, man, I, I totally understand. And, and get into the training aspect, I watch these young men when they when, when, when they hold pass for each other or when you hold pass for them or even when they hit in the bag. But they're nice, man. Like, when they throw their combinations, they turn their punches over and they angle or the way that they step, you know, they, 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 they keep that lead foot in front of them, man. Um, there's a lot of dads out there wanting to know, like, you know, how do you keep them interested, man, when it comes to training? How do you keep them focused? I mean, honestly, having a twin kind of gives them the edge. I can't even lie. I can't take credit for everything because having that twin brother, that you know, that person that constantly push you that look just like you mm-hmm. is something that me and you and I would never even understand. Right. I don't even understand it because I'm not a twin. But, you know, it's it's a def- it's an extra push because it's, it's you're looking at yourself. Right. Like, Point blank period. There's no other two ways to put it. You're looking at you telling you to do good. So they push each other like past the limit, past, past the limit. I don't think they have a limit to where they would push each other. If one is like tired, the other one's screaming, and one's not doing something right, the other one's screaming. Like, most of the time I'm just sitting back looking because they correct each other daily. So I think that's where the passion comes from, just that, that twin bond. Uh, it's, it's just amazing. <laughs> right, right. Well, let me ask you this then. Um, how do you separate the two when you when 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 you're the gym and you're the coach, but then when you get home, you know, um, you know, uh, do you do anything different, you know, uh, outside of the gym or you know, uh, uh, is it twenty four seven? How do you separate that? At this point, it's like I mean, we started off working out a lot. Don't get me wrong, but at this point, to where they're at now, at only eight years old, we only train three days a week because I feel like I don't want to burn my kids out for the sports. No need. Like, when we leave the gym, we don't even talk about boxing. We might watch a video here and there, but I try to – you got to keep that balance. They're still children. Gotcha. So, at the end of the day, I, I, I'll leave it at that. Like, in the gym, don't get me wrong. I'm screaming. I'm hollering. If something's going wrong, I'm a coach in the gym. So, they get it. But once we leave the gym, like, it's back to daddy and sons. And they go see their sisters. They got sisters. Like, we're we're doing that kind of stuff. They're playing. Like, right now, at a, at a block party. They go so jumping bouncies and stuff like – you just gotta keep the balance because I've seen so many kids in this sport be over pushed. That was good, and then they wind up quitting. Like I, I refuse to do that to them. And then if the day of tomorrow they decide they don't want to do it, then we on to the next thing. Right now they love it, so we just gonna keep pushing this as far as we can. I uh, I I uh, I definitely agree with that because you know you know you know how it was when you and I were going uh, growing up, man. It was like you're going full force, you're going 100 miles per hour. So I did see a lot of kids, man. You had some kids, You could, it could be 100 guys up in the gym, man, but then, like, when two or three years passed by, man, it was it was, it was was more than half that that fell out because, you know, they got they got tired, they got, they got burnt out. So I appreciate the right. fact that, you know what I'm saying, you as a dad, you see that, man. Uh, I'm doing the same with my son, you know. Uh, you, you know, guys are de- doing different things, man, you know, where they have them playing different sports or just chilling out. So, you know, um... I I totally understand that. Hey fellas, there you go. what's up, baby? Hey, I got a question for y'all, and I'm gonna ask um uh, I'm gonna ask little Stephen first. This is this is a question for both of you guys, but I want Stephen to, I want Stephen to answer first. Okay, Steve, who is your favorite boxers? But it's in the three part section. Who's your favorite boxer when it comes to offense? Who's your favorite boxer when it comes to defense? And who is your favorite boxer when it comes to um, ring intelligence when it comes to uh, ring intelligence, you know. Uh, so the first one is Steven, who is your favorite boxer offensively? Floyd Mayweather. Floyd, wow, wow. What well, and what and why, why Floyd, Steve? Because he got a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he got a lot of money. Uh, hey, hey, hey! They say what they say, Danny. Uh, kids never lie, right? They speak, they speak from their heart. That's the truth, right? <laughs> hey, all right, okay, all right, um, all right. Hey, Danny, Danny, right there. Yes. Danny, what? What's your? Who's your favorite boxer offensively? Andre Ward. Man, great, great choice. And why? Why Andre Ward? Be- because he was on Creed. Okay. Okay. I've been to the gym. 
<laughs> oh, okay, okay, and that what well, that was at uh, Front Street Gym, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. All right, second part, little Steve. Who's your favorite boxer when it comes to defense? Uh, Say that again. Lomachico. Oh, Vasily Lomachico. He a bad boy, man. He nice. What do you like about his defense? That, that he can't get touched. Okay, oh, okay. Hey, 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 say it with conviction, brother. That's right, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Danny, what about you? Who's your favorite defensively? You don't know. You don't like Muhammad Ali. Mm, yes, I do like Muhammad Ali. Okay, so Muhammad Ali, and then and, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you, both you guys answer this um, together. You know, because I I know you 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 guys seem like you you're the type that you you know your actions be a lot of these words, man. I definitely gonna understand that. Who are you guys' favorite boxers when it comes to ring intelligence? So. I mean, just being smart inside the ring. Who do you guys like? Who do y'all like? We take it. <laughs> <laughs> I love these kids. Hey, I love these kids. <laughs> Floyd Mayweather. Floyd. Okay, good pick. That's for both you guys, Floyd? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Good to go, good to go. Hey, um... Let me ask you this, Big Danny, man. Um, for those fathers that are out there, man, because I know you probably get a lot, you know, when you go to the gyms and they sitting back and they watching um, you. But what are your advice for those who strive for their sons and even maybe even daughters? Because you got little girls that's coming out hard, just as hard as the little boys, man. But who have, who's striving for their sons and daughters to become successful um, as your sons have? I mean, all I, my, my word of advice, honestly, is putting the time in. That's it. Like, you get what you put in. Okay. I, if I can give anybody anything, it's just that. Put in the time. You, yeah. Like, my sons didn't start off knowing how to fight. They were, like, regular kids that didn't know how to throw a guy when we first started. You, it just progressed over the years and the time put in, the thousands and thousands of hours. Like, it's not easy. It takes a lot. Right. Like, I tell people that's around us on the deli that, that do look at my kids and think that, it's going to happen overnight. They're the same age. It's, it's not that easy. Like you have to actually put that work in to like build these kids' confidence up, get them in condition, and you know take it from there. If it's, if it's not for the kids, you'll know. Trust me. And if it's for them, you'll know. It's it's just like that. You know. You know. They say you can't. You can play basketball. You play football. You play baseball. You can't play boxing. So right, you right. definitely know. <laughs> right. So, so would you say, would you say this? Um, and I say it a lot, man, because you know you have a lot of fathers that that trying to live um, their old life through through their kids, man. And um, you can tell from jump, man, where this kid's gonna end up hating it. He's really gonna end up hating it. Um, like with my son, man, I, I don't even know he's training, man. I'm pretty sure it's the same way with your kids, man. It's like they they think it's a game. They think it's so fun. Where it's like, you know what? This is something what I do, and, it, and they take it to that serious magnitude. But you, man, I mean, uh, you get a lot of dads. I get I get dads coming to me like, man, how do you have him even uh, with it? Where his attention span is that is even that long? Well, you know, is is really kind of trickery because he he really don't even know you know that he's hitting the back for three minutes. I started him off from like you know. 10 seconds now he's on three minute intervals so what i'm asking you is i guess like kind of giving like not secrets but giving everything away like what how do you think they should start their kids off in training that's why i guess uh, slow as possible like like i said you'll know it if you don't if, i feel like if you don't over push the kid from the beginning he'll gradually work itself into it it was a time where it was me saying come on let's go to the gym and now it's done you know what i'm saying like yeah. it, it transpired to that from the time put in, like now it's daddy. I want to spar. It's no longer son. You sparring today. It's daddy. I want to go hit the bag. I mean, just today, just yesterday, mm-hmm. we we were in the gym and my son Stephen, to be correct, exact. Uh, he was done his rounds. He, he did like five, six rounds on the bag. I'm like, yo, you done? He said, no, nah, daddy. I'm gonna do two more. Mm-hmm. That mm-hmm. Like, you, like that. That you can't teach that. That's right. That has to become the child from. You know, work ethic. Like I said, you'll know. You'll know. Like if if it's meant to be, you'll know. They'll they'll start progressing. Like 
every day. Gradually, they'll pick up more and more and more. It's just it's chess. It's not checkers, man. That's that's all the other fathers I can recommend <laughs> to them. Like it's, it's 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 a marathon, not a sprint. Just um. I've been talking to, you know, uh, other young men and they dads, and, and I've really been loving this, man, because this is going to be things that I'm going to be, you know, uh, showing my son where he can listen to. Um, what I want to know is this, man. Um, you know, uh, are there anything else that, that you have the kids do? Like, are they are they involved in any other sports or is it just fully uh, boxing for right now? I mean, honestly, we've been focused on boxing right now because we started competing. But, I mean, during the, like, when the next couple of months, we talked about football. They ran track before they wrestled. They started off wrestling. That was mm-hmm. the first sport they ever did. But then they ran track after that. Like, we focused on this right now just because of competition-wise. But, I mean, in the near future, we'll, they'll probably play football. The only reason I didn't lean towards football because of the weight. It was, like, kind of yeah. <laughs> weird how they had eight-year-olds playing with five-year-olds and <laughs> much, but yeah, yeah. I mean, we we I'm gonna be open this year for whatever they want to do, like anything that keeps them interested in boxing. I feel like boxing is a sport you're always going to come back to, so we just gonna see what they want to do this year. That's right, that's right. Hey, Danny and Steve, hey, I got I got another question for you guys. Um, where do you see yourselves in the sport of boxing in the future? Do you see yourselves uh, maybe one day going to the Olympics or you know turning professional and being a world champion? I heard that. I heard that. I heard that. Okay, uh, I just want. I have. I have one more question. This is for each of you guys before you guys leave. You know, uh, this is for my. You know, my listeners. These these young men who want to know. But, uh, little Danny, what is your advice to young fighters who want to be their best in the sport of boxing? Don't you tell them, Danny. Uh, what they gotta do to be good? Uh, keep, uh, keep working. Keep working. Oh, good, good, good. Keep working. What about you, little Steve? What would you uh, tell them for them to be uh, uh, their best? Keep having hard work and dedication. I like that. I like that. Hard work and dedication. Okay, okay. And uh, Danny, you, man. Um, how do you want your father and son team to be remembered when it's all said and done at the end of the day in the sport of boxing? The fact that we put the word in and tried, man. Whatever comes from it, you know. So however long will is this, God willing, whatever it turns out to be is what it is. Like, I, I, don't, I don't make prediction as far as their future go because you never know. So we just want to work and see what comes out of it. I just want to be remembered for putting in the work. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Hey, um, I uh, uh, I got a lot of I got a lot of listeners who may want to know, you know, if they want to follow you on social media, you know, or if they may want to contact you personally. Um, how can, how do they get in contact with you, you know, on social media, brother? Uh, this page is Brandy Twins underscore Boxer and uh, Daniel Stephen Grandy on Facebook. Okay. It, 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 all our information will pop up in the book. We're more than happy to have people follow us and you know their journey and path and watch what we're trying to accomplish. Uh, nothing but love. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Well, fellas, man, uh, I really appreciate the time. Uh, I know we three hour, three hour behind you guys, but hey, go ahead and enjoy yourself. Um, are they back in school? Uh, they go to school tomorrow. Oh man! Oh wow! Inshallah! Inshallah! Well, hey, enjoy yourself. Uh, have fun, man, but make make sure when you get there, it's all about getting that education, without a doubt. And I know your dad be staring you guys when it comes to that. But Danny, I really I really appreciate the time, brother. And um, we gotta get D- little Diesel up there uh, probably the end of this year, man. We gotta get him up there so he can get some working with you guys. Absolutely, man. Reach out, let me know. It's done. No doubt, no I'm doubt, done. no doubt, no doubt. Hey, uh, Danny and Steve, thank you for your time. All right, y'all. <laughs> All right, then we'll just coach Stokes from Ring to the Concrete, concluding uh, dynamic duels for the day was dynamic trios, uh, Danny and Stevie Grandy, and Danny Senior. All right, I'll talk to y'all later. Peace out in Philly, all right? Send and cash is clay. Right. I'm going to make sure you remember my name. You're going to 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 remember my name. Jesse Roy Jones Jr. Uh, and Sugar Ray. Yeah. I'm going to make sure you remember my name. You're going to remember my name. Remember my name. You gon' remember my name. You gon' remember my name. This is history in the making. Raw 
Sports Box, repping Big Star. We got Coach Stokes, Sammy the Old Mayhem, Headbangers Box, Dark Side Damien, Abdullah Hurricane, Know What a Bullet, Amir Boot Banger, Not a Mouth Entertainment. And we can't forget Cousin Larry T. Connecting them dots. You gon' remember Raw Sports Box. Say, remember my name.